Hi divers, it's yet another two minute Tuesday. Most people don't know how they can get more out of the GOE fundamentals class. You will know after this video coming up. The GOE fundamentals is a great class, if not the best scuba diving class in the world. Leave me a comment. What do you think about the GOE fundamentals class? So at least I think it's a great class and I made a whole series about how to be best prepared for it. Yet there's one thing many people do not really realize when signing up for a GOE fundamentals class, or at least many of my students ask me after the class, hi Ben, why did you not tell me this before the class? So. I'm telling you now. The fundamentals class is conducted over four consecutive days, but you can combine the fundamentals class with the GOE Triox primer. That means you add one additional day to the class, learn a bit about the advantages and disadvantages of helium mixes, uh, dive planning, gas management, and so on uh, when using a Triox, and do at least two additional dives and you're certified to dive with Triarc 3030, so a mixture of 30% oxygen and 30% helium. That's a great way to do a little more, to learn a little more during your fundamentals class and get even more value out of the class. You might ask now what the benefits of 3030 actually are. Well, the worst downside of it is certainly the price of the filling. Depending on where you are in the world, a double 12 liter tank of 3030 costs between 80 and 150 bucks, sometimes even a bit more. Still, the MOD, so the depth you can use this mix, is still 30 meters just like air or nitroc 32. So way more expensive, but you can't go deeper? Why can it make sense to use 3030? The narcotic potential of helium is per se lower than that of nitrogen. So you experience less nitrogen narcosis. But this is for me not the main reason. The main reason to choose 3030 over nitro 32 in relatively shallow waters up to let's say 30 meters is the gas density. So nitro 32 and air are both nitrogen rich mixes with a relatively high density that makes them harder to breathe, especially in depth around 30 meters. Helium enriched mixes like 3030 have a lower density due to the low density of helium. By adding 30% helium, you can lower the density of the whole mixture roughly by 25% making the mixture easy to breathe. You might not need that on a calm dive, but when you start working underwater, for instance, like moving big camera gear, swimming against current, lifting heavy stuff, the high density of nitro 32 starts a cascade. You work hard underwater, your muscles start producing CO2, you breathe heavy because of the exertion. The high density leads to a CO2 buildup because since a more dense mix, it's harder to literally move in your lungs. You cannot get rid of the CO2. That leads to a fast and shallow breathing pattern that makes it even harder to remove CO2 from your body, resulting in even faster and more inefficient breathing, resulting in more CO2 and so on and through force. You get the idea. High CO2 levels can cause narcosis that's a lot more severe than nitrogen narcosis. Just keep in mind that CO2 is roughly 20 times more narcotic than nitrogen. And elevated CO2 levels increase the risk of oxygen toxicity, which can cause a whole bunch of other problems and may result in unconsciousness and death. Before we go on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and never miss upcoming videos. So, Trike 3030 may prevent this just by its lower density. That's why I use and recommend 3030 whenever you dive up to 30 meters and expect hard work underwater 
or you want to be extra clear in your head, maybe in a cave. By asking your fundamentals instructor for the Triox primer in combination with the fundamentals course, you can easily get certified to use 3030 and only very few people take this opportunity. What do you think about the possibility to get Triox certified during your fundamentals class? Does it make sense in your opinion or is it complete waste of money? Leave me a comment, I love to discuss the topic with you. And in the meantime, check out my other videos about the GUE Fundamentals course for instance. See you there.